the booth company sales are forecasted to double from $1,000 in 2010 to $2,000 in 2011. Here is the December 31st, 2010 balance sheet. Cash account receivable inventories, net fixed assets are given and the total assets are 1000 accounts payable notes payable accruals long term debt common stock and retain earning is given and uh, with the total of these item is 1000 booth's fixed assets were used to only 50% of capacity during 2010 but its current assets were at their proper level in relation to sales all assets except fixed assets must increase at the same rate as sales and the fixed assets would also have to increase at the same rate if the current excess capacity did not exist. Booth's after tax profit margin is forecasted to be 5% and its payout ratio to be 60%. What is the Booth's additional funds needed for the coming year? So the current assets are 500 fix assets are also of 500 and spontaneous liabilities are equal to 100 that is sum of accounts payable and accruals Current sales change in sales and forecasted sale is equal to net profit margin. Is equal to 5% retention ratio is 40% and fixed assets use 50% and current assets are used 100% so we have to calculate full capacity sales firstly and the full capacity sales can be computed by Actual sales divided by percentage of fixed assets used, and actual sale is 1000 divided by 0 0.5, and the answer is 2000. So it means if we increase sales to 2000. There will be no need to buy any additional fixed assets as current assets can support sales up to 2000. And if we ignore that the fixed assets are only 50% used and we find that all assets are used at full capacity, then the AFN will be. Equal to assets divided by sales and multiply by change in sales minus spontaneous liabilities divided by sales into change in sales minus m that is net profit margin into retention ratio into forecasted sales and the assets 1000 divided by 1000 into 1000 minus spontaneous liabilities 100 divided by 1000 
इन टू थाउजेंड माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दैट इज फाइव परसेंट इंटू रिटेंशन रेशियो जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू फोरकास्टेड सेल दैट इज टू थाउजेंड एंड द ए एफ एन विल बी एट सिक्सटी in this calculation we have considered full assets but we have already calculated that the fixed assets are not required to increase the sales so afn by ignoring fixed assets will be assets will be 500 as current assets are only 500 sales actual are 1000 and multiply by 1000 minus spontaneous liabilities 100 divided by 1000 into 1000 minus 0.05 0.4 into 1000 that is equal to p60 so we will be required p60 assets to increase our sales to 2000 and we will need no additional assets and this amount will be in invested in current assets as well as there will be some increase in liabilities and retain earning and the finally we will require 360 assets to support this sales